Well, everyone, that's our show for today. Happy belated birthday, everyone. Come or <laughs> talk. Lucky Jackson. <laughs> sandwich is, but I do know that it can get, consists of bread, bacon, banana, and peanut butter, and honey. And so the first thing we started working on was our bacon, and we used it the Rachel Ray style, is that we slapped it in the oven and just baked it at 400 degrees until it was nice and crispy, like so. And this is going to be the bacon we're going to be using for our sandwich. But also, I'm taking the grease and just dump it in my flat art, my skillet right over here. Ah. So we'll be cooking our sandwich on bacon grease. <clears throat> All right. Our next thing that we got right here is this has been a recent discovery. At the box store, they have loaves of bread for a dollar. <clears throat> it's French bread. It's good for sandwiches. It's a little bit smaller, but pretty diverse, very cheap. Also, one of the things I wanted to bring up is the peanut butter. As you notice, I'm using chunky peanut butter. Uh, you can use smooth, you can use whatever kind you want, natural. I prefer chunky. Because most people on the western side of the United States prefer chunky peanut butter. Why, smooth peanut butter seems to be more of an east coast thing. But the thing is, is whether you choose one or not, I have noticed something about chunky peanut butter people. Is that we can eat smooth. But smooth people can't eat chunky. They hate it for some reason. So, there we go. <clears throat> Next we have our banana. What I like to do is not that. <clears throat> All right. What I like to do is I cut my bananas in little slices. Nice and thin. I've seen other people do nice big cuts like that. And I've also seen guys just do it straight down the middle on the sandwich. But I like to have nice, smooth ones. And you're only going to need about a half a banana, maybe a little bit less for this sandwich. But we're just cutting up the whole half right there. And this one goes towards the doctor. That's my piece. <clears throat> So up next, we're taking our peanut butter and slapping it on our bread right here like so. And you're going to want to get both sides of the bread, I mean not both sides, both slices of bread, and you're going to want to get from one end to the other nice and smooth. Careful not to tear the bread with your thick peanut butter. If you find your peanut butter too thick, drop it in the microwave for a little bit and it'll smooth it right on up there, loosen it. There we go, and we get the next one. You just make a peanut butter sandwich, just like how you used to make it when you were a kid, or your mom, or you're making it for your kids, whatever. <clears throat> Best part about this sandwich, it's great for breakfast, it's a great snack, high in protein, ready to go. Alright, and it has a vegetable in it. So you take your bacon, Slap it on one side. Mm, mm, mm. <clears throat> then we take our bananas, line them up. This is kind of like how I like to do it. <clears throat> so it's nice and even right there. Boom. And then you take your honey. And on one side, 
And you do honey to taste. I'll use a little bit. This is kind of our glue right here that's going to connect, put both these sides back together. And then voila. Now you don't eat it now. We gotta fry it up next. Here we go. Alright. Like cooking all sandwiches, we're gonna want it on a nice medium heat. Uh, we didn't butter this side. Once again, we are using bacon grease because that's a really great toaster and it'll add in that extra flavor. I think that's what Elvis was going for. <clears throat> Sandwich is ready to go. On the pan, it goes. You see it all sizzling down at the bottom right there. That's going to be toasting our bread. And you're only going to want it like 30 seconds to a minute maximum on each side before you flip it over and have it nice, consistently toasted. You just want to want to get it to a nice golden brown. And uh, yeah, it'll melt that peanut butter a little bit, get that honey nice and gooey. It's going to be a delicious, sticky sandwich. Ah, look at that, nice and golden brown, ready to go, pretty crispy, for a little firm, take it over. Bam! And we got our knife right here. We're going to hear a satisfying crunch as we crush this guy in half. Ah, very good. And plate it up and we'll mukbang this guy here for you. Alright. Here we go everyone, the Elvis sandwich, original name unknown. We're going to have a nice little mukbang of this. Wasn't good? That was pretty good. <clears throat> Alright, I really do like that. <clears throat> okay folks, I'm going to go wipe up. We're going to see what's going on in the garage. Well, that's our show for today, everyone. Happy birthday, Elvis. We'll see you all next time. Cousin Dave here for a special edition of Trailer Class. We're going to talk about the King and Graceland. Let me get my collar up for this. <laughs> now, I would like to share with you a few trailer decorating tips to make your trailer home fit for the King. <laughs> I remember when I first went to Graceland in Memphis back in the late 90s. Ah, oh, it was wonderful. I was up and down Beale Street, went into a bar, and had me a few drinks. I got overcharged for a drink, actually, and, and then I had talked to the bouncer, an old guy with a white beard, white hair, and a purple shark skin suit, and then uh, I started telling him what was wrong, and apparently I did it too loud. There was pepper spray involved, and I, well, anyway, that's a story for another day. The point is, you can make your home look a lot like Graceland. When I walked around there, I saw how beautiful it was, but you can decorate it just like the king on the cheap. First of all, what you need to do is get yourself some animal print sheets and blankets, things like that. There's usually plenty of them you can find at the dollar store. You can find zebras, cheetahs, leopards. Now, I myself have me a nice Christmas Elvis version. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not quite right, but it's got animals on it, so uh, <laughs> that's what we're going for. Then, you hang them sheets up all around your house, and you 
find yourself some velvet paintings. Now, velvet paintings are easy to come by. You go to your thrift stores, you go to your Goodwill, you hit up them garage sales all through the neighborhood. You can find velvet animals, you can find velvet Jesus, and of course, you're looking for a velvet Elvis, and you are gold. Now you got that all decorated up, and it's like your very own jungle room right in your trailer. All you need now is, uh, oh yeah, <laughs> prescription pill bottles. Yeah, I got me some uh, T-male testosterone boost for men. That's that's uh, that's my brother's. And uh, oh yeah, 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 we got some uh, sleep aid soft gels and some lithium. That'd be perfect. So now you have got a trailer fit for the king. Well, folks, happy birthday to Elvis. Y'all have a real nice night.